Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my tutorial. In the last video I made, I showed you guys how you could set up a virtual machine and specifically run Ubuntu 9.10 on it. But in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to run Mac OS X Leopard on a virtual machine. This is probably the easiest install of Leopard you will do on a PC, and I'm just going to take you step by step through how to do it. Alright, so to begin, we need to grab a couple of downloads. So I'll post all the links in the description of this video, but the first thing we're going to need is VMware Workstation 7. Uh, it's basically the same thing as VirtualBox, it's just a different type of software. Uh, the reason I'm using VMware Workstation is because it's a little bit tricky to get this to work inside of VirtualBox. This is, it's just much, much easier to use VMware with this, with this install. So uh, just grab VMware, it's free, just grab it download it, install it, and then you're good to go. Next thing we're going to need to do is hop over to the Pirate Bay and download this torrent right here. This will be posted in the description. Mac OS 10 Leopard. It's about 1.9 gigabytes and just install this. It'll take about an hour and a half if you got a decent internet connection. And those are the only two downloads we need. So once you got this downloaded and this downloaded and installed, uh, just go ahead and move on to the next part of the video. Alright, so once we've got our two downloads, you'll probably have to use like WinRAR to extract this. I would just put it to your desktop. So once you do that, you need to go into your documents part of your computer and you'll see a new folder called Virtual Machines. Once you've installed VMware, that'll be put there. So once you extract your uh, torrent, just drag that into your Virtual Machines folder and then you can just close out of that window. So now that that's in there, we can just go ahead and open up VMware and click on New Virtual Machine. Uh, we're going to do a typical configuration. We're going to install the operating system later. We're going to do an other guest operating system and we're going to call it FreeBSD. Make sure it's a FreeBSD, otherwise it will not work. I'm just going to call mine Leopard. You can name it whatever you want. And then for this, just leave it because we're going to be deleting this later because it's already installed. So we just need to load it from that torrent that we just put into our virtual machines folder. And then just make sure everything's like this. You don't have to make sure. Um, sorry about that. I can't speak. Uh, just review this. Make sure it's everything. We're going to be changing the memory later. So just click on finish. And then now we're going to have to edit the settings. So just click on that. I'm going to change mine to 2 gigabytes of RAM. I'd recommend you at least have 1 gigabyte because it just won't run very good. Uh, don't change any of the processors, just leave it like that. And now here's where we need to pay attention. On hard disk, press remove and then press add. We're going to add a new hard disk and then we're going to use an existing hard disk. And then once you click next, you're going to have to go to browse and browse for your virtual machine so it says leopard right here it should be inside of that um, oh sorry uh, we need to go back to documents virtual machines and then look for the folder that you have it says mac os x leopard click on that and then we can click on finish our hard disk is loaded and now you can see that it's around 30 gigabytes uh, you can remove the floppy drive set your network adapter to bridged and everything else should be set to go so just click on OK and then we're ready to power on this virtual machine and then you can just see that it'll boot everything should load up fine it should recognize all of your computer peripherals that you have uh, your internet should work everything should run smoothly shouldn't be that much longer now and there you have it OS 10 so as you can see it fully recognizes all of my specs even though it doesn't recognize my processor because I'm on an AMD oh that's another thing this will work on Intel and AMD it recognizes everything it should at least and then 
that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really easy to do, and I don't see why you wouldn't do that. This is probably the easiest way to install Mac in a virtual machine, so highly recommend this. So thanks for watching my video. As you can see, the internet works fine, and to get out of this, it should be like a... There we go. We can just press CTRL and ALT, and we can just X out of this. Alright guys, once again, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this to be somewhat informational. So keep watching my videos. If you have any video requests, please tell me. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. See you later.